In this video, I will be making 99% fuming nitric acid from drain cleaner sulfuric acid. So, the drain cleaner sulfuric acid is only 93.7% weight by weight. So, to make 99% fuming nitric acid, I have to use excess of acid. In the round bottom flask, I added around 75 grams of potassium nitrate, which was oven dried. And then to it, I added 90 ml of concentrated sulfuric acid, which is twice the molar ratio of potassium nitrate. So, after adding all the drain cleaner sulfuric acid, I arranged the platers for a simple distillation and turned on the heating mantle. I have also set a trap for nitrogen dioxide and vapors of nitric acid. This includes only water. Slowly, the potassium nitrate dissolves in the concentrated sulfuric acid slowly to give a clear solution. And nitric acid is being distilled over. After some time, I started seeing this kind of drops condensing on the walls of the flask. So, I guess that this was azeotropic nitric acid condensing on the walls of flask. So, I switched off the heating mantle and then took out the receiving flask and checked the concentration of my nitric acid by filling it in this 25 ml volumetric flask which was pre-weighed and then again weighing it. Thus, take, I calculated its density and from the concentration density chart which is available online, I found its concentration and its concentration was around 99.2%. The receiving flask was put back and the apparatus was allowed to cool. So this was only 25 ml of 99% nitric acid which was stored in a glass bottle. This will be used in the synthesis of trinitrotoluene which requires 99% or purely anhydrous nitric acid. When the apparatus cooled down a little bit, I removed the penny head stopper from the distilling head and with the help of a powder funnel, I added 76 grams of potassium nitrate from the distilling head into the reaction mixture. On adding potassium nitrate, brown fumes of nitrogen dioxide were released. Maybe that the reaction mixture is still hot. Anyways, I added all the potassium nitrate into this reaction mixture. You can see that potassium nitrate crystals have stuck onto the walls of the distilling head and also on the joint. The potassium nitrate stuck on the walls is not a problem, but the potassium nitrate crystals which are stuck on joint have to be removed because they will cause a problem in putting the stopper back. So they were removed with the help of a glass rod and then I put the stopper back and then again I switched on the heating mantle. Slowly all the nitrogen dioxide was removed from the apparatus and the apparatus looked clear and the nitric acid boiled away very fast and you can see this is the real time speed of the distillate coming inside the receiving flask. After some time a solid chunk of mass was seen inside the flask and the distillate was also coming slower. At this time I increased the heating of my heating mantle. Slowly the chunk started to melt. This chunk is of potassium nitrate and potassium bisulfate. Distillation was continued until drops of distillate which is nitric acid was coming. Slowly and gradually as the temperature in the flask was increasing, the chunk was melting and more and more nitric acid was coming. 
at one point when all the chunk has melted nitric acid stopped coming at this moment i switched off the heating mantle and allowed the apparatus to cool when apparatus has cooled a little bit i took out the receiving adapter and checked the density of nitric acid this time the concentration was found to be 92.3% weight by weight i checked the volume of nitric acid it was around 41 ml thus 25 ml of 99% nitric acid and 41 ml of 92.3% nitric acid was produced which corresponds to a percent yield of 99% so in this video i will not be showing you the reactions of fuming nitric acid with copper metal and nitrile gloves because i have already sh shown that in my previous video in which i have shown to make fuming nitric acid but in that video i was only able to make 85% fuming nitric acid thanks for watching if you have any suggestions please write down in the comment section and don't forget to like share and subscribe If you like my work you can support me financially through Patreon and PayPal links are given in description